Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Subsistence Season 2. It is still snowing. It started snowing yesterday. And it's still snowing. I did make a couple of um, nice big roasts though. That's different. Ugh. I, I think it might be clearing up. I think with the sun, we are getting clearer skies. I also uh, picked the garden, finally. I haven't put anything in there. I don't think I have any cotton seeds. Nope, no cotton picking seeds. Oh yeah, I needed two more potatoes. There we go. Onions, carrots, tomatoes. Yeah, that. How are we doing on the sink? We're doing okay. We're almost caught up. Oh, boy. All right, bravo. Jeez, one more, one more minute. I fed the, I fed the rabbits. They're level seven. I need to clear my throat. It's still, uh, still Tuesday. It was Tuesday when we attacked, um, uh, Alpha Goofballs. And, uh, I've got the grenade-tipped arrows on me. I just, uh, am waiting. It's temperature now. Negative two, so it'll be negative six, maybe. All right. Let's do it. What did I do? I got some more bullets out. I'm fine. Let's do it. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna calm down. We cannot pass up this or that chicken. Uh, I used up all of the rotten meat. Uh, we might go back to traps. We just might. There we go. Yeah, suck it, eagle. I got my food. It takes uh, four rotten meat to make that heat pack, so uh, it's sometimes it's necessary to do it on purpose. And uh, since I used up all of it, uh, to make these heat packs, which I've already used three of, um, then it's necessary, you know, to make it on purpose, which is fine because we can just let all the rabbits and chickens, uh, rot. And as long as we keep the, the animal housing, uh, going, it all takes, uh, constant, it all takes, uh, constant, uh, hunting, and uh, that's why I was saying trapping, but I don't know if we have, like, enough um, medicinal, really, and especially in the winter time when you only get uh, two, you know, you only get, like, two medicinal plants at a time. Did I just hear uh, the soft roar of more... Um, Blizzardiness. I was thinking about putting a box out here you know, for the purpose of uh, using as a drop box. Is that also silicon? But, um, noticing that we had a, uh, a fiber shortage, I decided, Meh. maybe we better go fiber hunting today. 
Um, excuse me. Where are they? Why is it always so difficult for me to find them? Why do I always have to stumble into Bravo? Is that maybe why I don't attack them very often? Have I passed Bravo already? <laughs> it feels... Oh, I thought I saw a scrap. It feels like I did, but I don't know where they are. Is that them right there? No. Oh, I can see our base. Hang on. Oh, that's just a branch moving around. Okay, no, Bravo's over here somewhere. Is that? I don't know. We need fiber more than we need Bravo, but I'd really like to get there. If it's possible. <laughs> I don't think I got past Ortastic yet. Because I was fooling around with this stuff. It always looks like it's still standing up. <laughs> hey, your stuff too. There they are. <laughs> oh, the door's on the other side. Okay. Is he not coming? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Bleeding already, for goodness sake. Okay, he's sitting next to the fire, so we need to look for that claymore. Is that it over there, maybe? Yeah, that is it. He's making decisions. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I forgot my bloody hands of justice. <laughs> a health kit. We might have to uh, take a trip back and forth because, you know, like I said, we need to, um, we need a drop box out here. That's a pretty good place for the Claymore. I don't know why that guy came out. Oh, that's got a long way to go. So, yeah, we can take some stuff home. Oh, jeez. Um, what I was spitting stuff for. I guess we can take that stuff home and then uh, this will uh, finish up hopefully. 
Oh, I didn't put my coat on. Look at that. Oops. I'm glad I spotted that. Um, I can... Uh, no. Oh, I can definitely do this. Jeez, I used a lot of those. Wow. All right. That's another bag right there that I can't get. All right, let's go take this stuff home. Let's see if we can get some more fiber going back and forth. It'll pop in. Like, as soon as you pick the fiber, it starts like a counter of some kind. And it's not long. Like, quite often, I'll be running along. I'm sure you've seen it. And um, the fiber just pops in. Uh, can I pick up that stuff? Nails? No, I don't have plates. But I was thinking about, since it's, a, it's decided to be a nice day, I was thinking about going up to the valley, which is really just fiber fields. We've always called it that. And uh, trying to get up to 200 fiber or something as much as I possibly can. Let me just run right through Newbie Canyon here. <laughs> it's not like during the summer when there can be like six or eight pieces of fiber and you have to like really, <laughs> really spend a lot of time picking it, you know. I hear you. I don't know exactly where you are. Just uh, put all of this in here, just like that. Probably if I hadn't, you know, separated that meat out, the, you know, it would have, uh, I would have had room. We have four of them now. Nope. I'm stacking up to 500 in there. Uh, we have a claymore. Um, they stack, yeah. Alright, do I need to eat? Maybe. Let's have an apple. Don't, don't hit the wrong thing there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a bunch of uh, medicinal and fiber over here too. And something there. I think it's scrap. No? I could have swore I saw something sitting there. Alright, let's go. I think I'm going to have to, like, just do, like, a really long journey of uh, just gathering fiber. I'm really shocked at how low the fiber got. I don't think I realized the last time that I made cordage uh, that that's what was happening. Is that wolf going to let me get this box? Yeah. The thing is, is that if you get a lot of rabbits <coughs> and chickens, their meat stacks and their their extra stuff stacks, and 
So that saves room. But if you, oh, nice. But if you uh, just keep them unbutchered, like if you're going to save them for food, you wouldn't want to butcher them. So if you keep them unbutchered, then you um, run out of space because they don't stack when they're not butchered. Oh, well, I turned away from him and I see this now. <laughs> That's all right. I forgot about all these boxes. <laughs> There's another apple. See, you gotta stop for the boxes. <clears throat> oh, I wish my voice would recover, but I'm just like, I really, really need to get all of this stuff done. You know, and uh, so that I can relax. Because I can't relax if I know that the content's not done. <laughs> All right, grab the rest of this stuff. Was there something there? Yeah. Then we got that, and then copper. All right, and we can take our picture. Oops, sit down. I meant to put the <laughs> I meant to put the the weapon away. <laughs> All right, and that's everything. Okay, let's go get some more fiber. <clears throat> It's a bright, beautiful day. We don't have to worry about heat packs yet. We can get some loot. Oh, God. We can miss out on a chicken. Didn't I pick up? Yeah, I did. Let's do that. There it is. won't be alive for long. This is uh, technically the forest right here. Although <laughs> in the wintertime it's not that dark. Oh, there you are. I heard a rabbit. Nice. Shotgun shell. It's hard to see rabbits, though, to be honest with you. I see a bag way down there. Oh, that wolf never even... He, like, turned around and looked at me. And that was the end of it. <laughs> Is that another one? Yeah. <laughs> Rose hip berries. <laughs> How are we doing? Uh, 36. Well, I mean, we got a little bit earlier. But, um, mostly I'm getting rose hip berries. There's another chicken. Boy, they're just, they're beating me to the punch today. Three apples. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them all home. I heard you. Crazy chicken. Did she hear me again? Yep. <laughs> I 
as we get here uh, into fiber fields, I'll pull up the map. We need to be careful because Charlie is right here. What are they, right on the other side of that rock? Oh boy. I've done it again. I've got us into a bad position. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let's see where we're at. Here. Charlie's right there, I think. Right there. And that's why I can't see them. Okay. Oh, there they are. Right there. <laughs> Watch out for that. I don't have a, um, a uh, door cracker, so it's a waste of ammunition to kill anybody that's inside the building, you know, looking out a window or whatever. And they can, they can probably see me from a good distance. Uh, I think that's Rhodes right there, though. For God's sake, I finally made the decision to go ahead and start moving again, and the uh, <laughs> the wolf heard me. <laughs> as soon as I started moving, he's like, yeah, I hear you. Make sure that's loaded. to reload that. Aww. Uh, oh. Oh, I could have made that into a thing. Uh, only one way to find out. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I got all of that. Let's see what this is. Uh, three feathers. Um, there's a rabbit. Here we go. Alright. Nice. Our inventory is full. But not full of fiber. Because I can carry a thousand fiber. <laughs> That's all I'm here for. Oh, this is a big bunch. Nice. What are we up to now? Almost a hundred. Oh, there he is right there. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I can carry all of these wolves. What have I got on me? Oh, I don't have any meat. Um, let's see here. There's one behind me, too. 
We need to get home, it's getting dark. Nope. Alright, we're going to pick that up. Wait a minute, it's the fat that I want. <laughs> Oh, is that wood? How come I can't pick up wood? Um, Schnarkies. I have an issue. Uh, that I can get rid of. The wood I'll take. And let's see here. Feathers, how many are there? I have to make all six. I <laughs> have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is we're right in front of Charlie and they're not shooting at me. That's not what the good news was, but it turned out to be good news. <laughs> the bad news is that we are really far away from home and it is going to be dark really far from home. So I think that we are going to uh, attempt to spend the night here. Didn't I go around and find out that everybody has uh, stoves <laughs> and boxes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and matches. Um, let's see here. I need to leave some of this stuff behind. That and that will do and I'll do that and uh, that and I'll eat a liver and wash my hands there we go <laughs> man I guess my apples aren't going to make it home. I'm just going to have to eat them on the fly. Did I put a light bulb in here? Of course not. Why would I do that? What about a glow stick? Hey, I'll take that. Of course not. I'll take that as well. Uh, let's see. I don't happen to have that stuff. Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to take that. 151. I hardly think that that's necessary. I think it's 15 for a fire starter. So there we go. We made 208. <laughs> All right, you guys. There we go. Extreme close up. E to access my face shield. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. Uh, I'm going to head home as soon as the sun comes up and uh, grab some more fiber on the way. Hopefully, we'll be able to do some uh, work tomorrow on the wall. All right, I want to thank you all so much for coming along again. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>